in this clip let's see how to access the middle carriage frame uh, and how to remove it carefully so this frame we call as a wall like middle wall of the engine so this is one of the strongest frame and this frame helps uh, the carriage to move left and right so as seen in the picture we have to remove couple of screws towards your right hand side and uh, there are some uh, uh, connect connection screws towards your left so that the, uh, the small frame will be disengaged or detached from the main frame this is a small support frame uh, by accessing by removing couple of screws this small support frame can be taken out like this so once the small frame is taken there are few more screws which is fixed in the main body as shown picture uh, keep removing the necessary screws uh, for further clarification you could refer the service manual which clearly says about what screws has to be removed so it is a it's like a guide for you uh, i have followed the similar manual so that the manual says which support base to be removed which small part has to be removed so as you see in the picture this is a metal frame which i removed so once main frame as a uh, small support frame removed there are some couple of pressure springs towards your paper feed mechanism so this will the springs will keep uh, your your paper feeding mechanism to be engaged as and when it's required so there are three springs which can be removed one after another so the moment you uh, remove a spring then there are uh, screws uh, uh, on other two sides this particular screw which i'm removing which has a uh, spring tension so also the washer so make sure the spring has in a position that was that it's it's called it's a thread so the washer has to be in the proper position so towards your right hand side you can find the spring but uh, in towards the left hand side it's just a plain screws so that the base of the uh, metal frame can be detached one more screw from the carriage holding mechanism when you deal with such assembly make sure you have removed all the necessary screws and locks so now we could see the carriage assembly main frame has come out from the main body it it has connected with the ink tubes as well as some uh, protective material make sure you have removed all the necessary cables and wirings and tubes without damaging anything so yeah gently you remove the cables from its path because this is very very important so now the carriage assembly completely removed that's all about carriage frame removal